Hi, this is Amelia and Elizabeth, and we are here with Alex from Hookers and Blow. Thank you for having this interview with us today. Thanks for having me, guys. So how's everything been going for you? It's been great. You know, the record came out a couple weeks ago, and it's selling really well, and uh, we're very happy with everything. Um, so the response has been really good so far, and uh, yep, it feels like a long time coming, but we're glad it came out when it did. Awesome. And why did you choose to do all covers for the record? Well, that's all we've ever really done as a band. Is we've never written any music. It's always been a cover kind of party band. So we figured, why not? Why start now? Let's just keep recording. So let's record and document the stuff we've been playing live. And that's kind of what we did. And for those who don't know, can you tell us more about Hookers and Blow? Well, I mean, if you haven't, if you don't, if you've never heard of us before, basically it's myself um, and Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses. Uh, Johnny Kelly from Typo Negative and Mike Duda from Wasp along with Dizzy's wife, Nadja. And um, it's a kind of cover band, jam band that Dizzy and I founded and started about 18 years ago in Hollywood. And it kind of grew bigger than we ever thought it would. And now here we are making records and touring outside of America. And uh, it's going great. And getting free drinks on the strip. I read your bio. I thought well, it was that, funny. I laughed. Yeah, well, that's why we started the band originally. And we kind of grew out of that and uh but yeah originally we just started to get out of the house and drink for free at hollywood clubs which we did and uh next thing you know we're touring all over the, all over the states and, and, and elsewhere that's awesome and you have so many iconic venues especially in uh, in la roxy rainbow yeah yeah we we had a residency at the whiskey for we had two of them in 2013 and it was a it was pretty crazy it was it was a lot of fun we did every tuesday and every monday off and on and uh it was an honor to be able to do so in such a legendary place. Well, I definitely need to come and check you out sometime. Yeah, we're supposed to play around Christmas time, but we'll see about the whole COVID thing. Yeah, definitely. And in a couple of your Led Zeppelin tracks, you were able to feature Frank Finale. So, uh, how did this come about? Well, he's he was you know he's he's no longer with us sadly, but um, when he got diagnosed. Um, with cancer a couple of years ago, he wanted to, he made it a point to record as much as he could, um, including those songs, and he did, he did a killer job, and, um, you know, he used to come down and jam Led Zeppelin with us when we played in Hollywood, so naturally when we went into the studio and decided to record a couple of Zeppelin tracks, he was the guy to play drums on it, obviously, so I'm very happy, and he, you know, I'm glad he was able to hear at least one of the songs before he passed, and um, he was very happy with it, and um, yeah, they came out great, um, he definitely nailed John Bonham like nobody else. You have covered Rolling Stone song and an Elton John song for your new album. So you do amazing covers. So how do you pick what you're going to put on this album? Well, uh, some of the songs we, we play live, you know, for years, and other ones we just always wanted to cover. So we just was kind of a, a mishmash of that. You know, everyone had their suggestions. And we picked about 15 or 20 songs and then tried to play, you know, all of them. And we picked the 12 best ones, and that's what you have on the record. And what's the story behind your name for Hookers and Blow? There's really no story behind it. Dizzy just said, let's call the band Hookers and Blow. And, you know, it's, it, people have a ring to it. We have a, we have a great logo that goes with it. And we, trade, we, we actually trademark it in America, believe it or not. That went through in 2008. So, yeah, it's, it's not really, there's no big story, no mystery. It's just, it is what it is. You can <laughs> interpret it how you want. It's an awesome name. It's definitely catchy. Yeah. Do you have anything going on with Quiet Riot? I have a lot going on with Quiet Riot. I'm actually uh, going to the airport in a few hours to fly to Indiana to start a little mini tour we're doing this week. And uh, we're working on new music as well, and it's going great. Um, we've been very busy this summer, thankfully. What can fans expect from your tour? Oh, we're just going to, you know, we're, we're doing, you know, right now it's just the, just the U.S., you know, playing, playing all the hits. You know, it's a great show. You should uh, hopefully we can get down to Australia at some point. I don't think the band's I, I believe the band's ever been there, so hopefully we can make it happen at some point. And you said you have new music being written for Quiet Riot? We're working we're working on it right now, yes. There's gonna be some new stuff coming out probably next year. Um it's gonna it's it's Frankie left behind a lot of drum tracks that we're working with right now, so he'll still be there in spirit and, and on on record. So it's gonna be uh it's 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 been a great process and very uh very um uh, a great outlet for us, and um, I think the, the music's going to really uh, impress a lot of people when it comes out next year. Well, we can't wait to hear that album. Yeah, we can't wait to put it out.
We'll ask you our signature question. So if you could have any band play one of your songs, which band would it be? Which song would it be? And would it be in your style or their style? Uh, well, that's a very good question. I don't, you know, I, I, I would get, can they be dead? Can they be deceased? Or do they have to be a current band? Oh, it can be anyone. Oh, I would say, the, you know, Pantera in, in their prime. I'd love to hear them play anything that I compose. That'd be an honor. They, those guys were brutal. They're great. Yeah. And uh, what's your favorite memory watching someone else perform live? Can you tell us a story? Uh, that's a very good question. My favorite memory watching anybody live? Um, I got to say probably my first concert was the most memorable because it was the very first time I ever saw a you know, stadium or an arena show, which was Poison in, the, in late 80s, early 90s. And it, that stuck with me because it was a kid who had never seen that kind of thing before, you know? I would, I would say, you know, my first one. Oh, I, love poison. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen them live. It's on my bucket list. So what's your favorite song to play live? Oh, uh, you know, any, it really depends on the crowd and what band I'm playing with. But um, for Hookers and Blow, Hookers and Blow probably Shaken by Eddie Money. That's been a lot of fun to play live. And with Quiet Ride, I really like playing Metal Health. It's just really powerful. And it's, it's, it's a lot of, you know, the crowd goes nuts when we do it. So I would say those two for those two bands. And like other rockers, you also have a cameo. So what's the craziest video that you've been asked to do? They've all, nothing's been too crazy. I mean, some of them don't make a lot of sense to me, but I do it, you know, you, you know, you, you, you read what they tell you to do and, you know, kind of put your own spin on it. But um, we actually, the best cameo I've seen though is when Charlie Sheen, a friend of ours had Charlie Sheen do one for Hookers and Blow for us, which is probably the greatest cameo of all time because he's so happy to say the words Hookers and Blow. It's great. <laughs> Hilarious. Go on, go on YouTube and type in Charlie Sheen Hookers and Blow and it's up there. It's got like almost like two and a half million views already. Oh, really? That is so good. <laughs> yeah. When you when you do this article, plug that YouTube into it. It'll, be, it'll, be, it'll make, make it for a good article. Just... Right, yeah. I'll put it in the video. Hopefully YouTube doesn't block me for like copyright. No, they won't. You can just cut and paste it. Yeah, you can do that. That's fine. <laughs> video belongs to me, so the video belongs to me and I'm giving you permission, so don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so what's your favorite memory on the road? Can you tell us a story? Yeah, uh, we what we'll goes on what happens on the road stays on the road. <laughs> but uh, one time in two thousand six we, we ended up you know, to make a long story short, we ended up calling drunk Valley in the White House like in Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh they had the FBI called on us or the CIA. Oh. We got the hell out of town. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask more questions. That was with Hooker's and Blow, of course. Right. What's that? <laughs> I said, I want to ask more questions. It is so intriguing to know this story. It's a long story. You, you, you go on, okay, go on YouTube and type in Did You Read Forgotten Cases? Yeah. And that, there's a cartoon reenactment of it. You can use that as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I was watching another interview and someone asked you if you could be anyone for a day. Who would you be? And you chose Chip. That made me so happy. I love Chip. Chip's enough. Yeah, Chip's enough. Yeah, I want to. I want to get. In the, I want to get in his head for a day and see how that operates. He is the nicest guy. Yes, yeah, he's great. Last question: Is there anything else you would like to say to your fans? Thanks for supporting us for all these years, and we uh, we look forward to getting down to Australia very soon. As soon as things clear up, we're down there. And thank you for everything. Awesome. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a safe flight. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah, definitely use those videos in the article. It'll make it a lot more interesting. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Have a Thank good you. day. Have a good Thanks, day. Thanks, guys. Be safe. Okay, Thank bye. You. Bye.